Trick one, we'll create a personal branding name highlighter effect. Here's how. Add your main video to the timeline. Drag a black background as an overlay and adjust its length. Go to basic, mask and choose mirror. Then click invert. Adjust the black bars as needed and hit done. Drag the black background again between the two layers. Go to basic, decrease the opacity to 30% and adjust the layer length to two or three seconds. Head to Animations, select in Animations, and choose Slide Right. For Out Animations, choose Slide Right as well. Now let's add the text. Go to Text, select Add Heading. Go to Basic and write your channel name. Choose a font, I'll use Fervent. Adjust the text size and position it on the left side. Adjust the text to fit the black background. Duplicate this text layer by right-clicking and hit Duplicate. Now go to Basic and change the text for the duplicated layer and select a font like Montserrat Light. Make the text smaller and align it properly. Go to Animations and for an animation add showing right. And for out animation, choose Slide Right. Select the second text layer and add the same in and out animations showing right for an animation and slide right for out animation. And here's the final result, a professional name highlighter that's perfect for personal branding. Trick two, creating a basic outro using CapCut. Add your main video to the timeline. Drag a black background as an overlay and adjust its length. Go to basic and decrease the opacity to 35%. Go to Animations. In Animation, and choose Fade In. Drag another black or gray background as an overlay. Adjust its length. Head over to Basic, Mask and select Rectangle. Resize and position it on the left side of the screen. Rotate it to 14 degrees. Scale it even more if needed and adjust its position on the left side and hit Done. Go to Animations and add Slide Right as the in animation and set it to one second. You can even add a whoosh sound for effect. Next, go to Text. Add Heading. Adjust the length of this text layer. Go to Basic. Write Subscribe. Choose a font like Fervent and make the text smaller. Place it on the left. Go to Animations, add Slide Right for the in animation increasing the duration to 1.3 seconds. Import your logo, adjust its length, size, and align it with the text. Go to Animations, in Animation, and add Slide Right Animation here too. Increase the duration to 1.0 seconds. Duplicate the text layer by right-clicking and hit Duplicate. Drag it to the right, go to Basic, and change the text. Adjust everything to your liking. And here's the final outro, a polished, professional look for your videos. Trick three, highlighting subtitles. Add your main video to the timeline and a black background as an overlay. Adjust the length. Go to basic, use the mask tool and select horizontal. Rotate the mask to minus 180. Increase the feather and adjust the mask. Move the playhead to the beginning of the video Set the black background opacity to zero and add a keyframe. Move the play head 10 frames forward, add another keyframe, and then 20 frames forward to increase the opacity to 100%. And that's the result, an amazing way to bring focus to your subtitles. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Which trick are you excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.